Maya if you don't know. And if you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for watching. So today I'm going to do a highly requested video. I've been putting this video off, off for about like mm, four years maybe y'all. Like, yeah, I don't know why. I've just been really nervous, I guess I would say. So, um, it's my weight loss video. I lost weight back in 2014, um, and I've been the same size, like, ever since, y'all. I just kept the weight off. But, yeah, I just, I don't know, I was nervous to do this video. Um, but today, I'm gonna finally sit down and record it. I actually recorded it way back in, um, August of 2019, but then... I felt like I got really off track in the video, y'all. So, that's when I was like, you know what? Let me just discard this video, throw it away, and yeah. And then I was crying in and stuff. And I know that's real, like, intimate stuff. But, like, intimate. I guess that's the word to use. Mm, I don't think that's the word to use. But I was crying in and stuff, and I ain't like that. I don't want to show y'all that side of me. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But, um... Yeah, so this is my weight loss video. I'm super excited to do it. Um, I really hope that I inspire someone because if I can do it, I promise y'all can do it. It's really a mind thing. But you know what? I'm going to get into that later on in my tips. But yeah, um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into this video. So, first I'm going to start with growing up, y'all. So, I was always... I wasn't the chubby kid. No, I was chubby. I always see. I still got a fat face. Like, I just got a fat face. So, but I had, I was like really chubby as a child. Um, I ate whatever I wanted to. And y'all, I'm country. Like, mm, I love some pig. Okay. So, I had all that hog jaw, bacon, all that. I'm, I'm just country. So, yeah, I love soul food i'm from the south um so yeah you know that's really bad all them all that fat the carbs all that and just won't do nothing i did cheer i cheered my whole life um that's why i'm just so freaking jolly but i cheered my whole entire life until senior year of high school and so i didn't cheer anymore i did competitive cheerleading i did school cheerleading too but it was mostly competitive cheerleading um, I cheered in middle school, 6th and 7th, no, not 6th, you couldn't cheer in 6th grade, 7th and 8th grade, then high school, did I try out in high school? I don't think I even tried out in high school, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, but that's the size of the point. Anyways, yeah, so I cheered my whole life, I did competitive cheerleading, I cheered cheer stream, um, Premier Athletics and Clayton. And I started out at full throttle. They're not a thing anymore. But, yeah, that's when I first started cheerleading. But, um, y'all, if y'all see me look down, it's because I got my little handy-dandy notepad. Because I want to make sure I remember everything I wanted to say. But, um, yeah. So, I cheered my whole life. Um, I didn't really... I didn't get bullied. I wouldn't say it was bullying, but I did, like, you know, everybody pick on folks and stuff. I got picked on in middle school for being big. I'm not going to tell y'all what they said because I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Some stuff I'm really insecure about, but I'm probably going to end up opening up on this channel um, eventually. But, yeah, I got picked on in middle school, of course. I was a heavy middle, middle school, and, you know, everybody was skinny and stuff and slim. So... Yeah, but I also ran track. Now, y'all. Ew, that was really ugly. Why did I just smack my lips? Okay. Y'all, I ran track. Yes. But. I. I was heavy, so I mean, like, I ran, but I ain't really run. You know, my friends, that was good. I was all right. Like, yeah, I did this little. I think I did indoor track. So, I think it was like the 55 mile, not mile, ooh, mm -mm, the 55 sprint thing, meter, meter, the meter sprint, I think that's what it's called. I did that, um, I lost, 
you know, I came in last place, but that's besides the point, you know, effort, E for effort. That's what I got. So, yeah, I ran track too. So track and cheer, that was, uh, I didn't run track to high school, but that's how it was growing up. You know, I ate whatever I wanted. I had my little sports and stuff. And y'all, when I tell y'all every day at the cheerleading practice, I got me some Bojangles, like that whole workout. I probably, I probably could have been small, you know, but I like my Bojangles, you know. So if you want to solve, you know what Bojangles is and Bojangles is very good. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> but yeah, so I ate my Bojangles at the cheerleading practice cook out maybe probably but definitely bojangles like we passed bojangles on the way home so i had to stop and get my bojangles you know i just burnt all them calories i was a little hungry because i'd be hungry after workout still to this day like i'm gonna be hungry after my workout because i mean you burn the calories but either way i stopped the bojangles every day after chilling practice well whenever i had chilling practice and that's how it was growing up for me, you know. I got picked on in high school too, but we're not gonna talk about that because that's when that well, that's when that Jones like <sighs> that one was hard, but yeah, okay. So now let's get into where it all started. So on July 28th, I don't even know why I look down because I know that date like the back of my hand, July 28th, two, 2014, and that's when. I had my doctor's appointment with, um, she was my primary care physician. What's that called when you, pediatrician. Cause that's when I was like younger or whatever. So she was my primary doctor. Her name was Dr. Peretta. I love her. That's why I said her name y'all. But, um, she is literally my favorite. She really like changed my life. But, um, yeah. So July 28, 2014, I went in for like a, a checkup. And then that's when she did some she did some blood work, obviously. I think I don't know why she I don't know why I went in for a checkup, honestly. I think I was getting a physical. Either way, went in for a checkup, she did blood work and she told me um I was a pre diabetic and that if I kept eating the way that I was eating, then I was gonna eventually become a diabetic. Um and it's diabetes too for when you're um when you have too much sugar and stuff that's the that's the diabetes that when you're really overweight and you know when extremely overweight people have diabetes that's more than likely the diabetes that they have is diabetes type 2 um that's when you cause it yourself you're not you're not really born with this it. not um in your genetics um but yeah so she told me I was about to be a pre-diabetic that's when um, I weighed myself. I was 184.6. Now that's where it all started, y'all. It all started 184.6. I'm not gonna lie. I was probably heavier before then. I'm not gonna hold you because, I mean, I like to eat. So, <laughs> but yeah, so, um, what happened after that? So, she gave me a month to lose four pounds so i went home y'all my daddy literally had the whole house it was me my dad and my brother he had the whole house i said like a whole bunch of people he had a whole house eating grilled chicken broccoli and that's literally it that was it that's all we ate every single day for like a month straight and don't do that i'm gonna give y'all some tips on what to eat i'm gonna give y'all tips on what to eat i mean that is good if you want to do that do that but um I'm going to give y'all tips at the end of the video. So, basically, that's what I ate for a month straight. Y'all, I cheered my whole life. So, I knew we went, what's that called? What is that called? Y'all know when you got to train, like, they uh do, like, a little, what is that called? Oh, I'm so mad I can't think of it. But, you know, when you got to train, like, you got your practice, but they also got to, um, whatever when they train you like you're doing exercises you're not doing like cheerleading stuff like just like in like other sports when you got a a little thing where they i'm so mad i cannot think of this word because uh okay either way i knew workouts to do so when i was in my room i used to do burpees jumping jacks and sit-ups y'all for a month straight i would do like 
I, I definitely did 100 jumping jacks. We did at cheerleading, you know, you warm up with 100 jumping jacks. So I was used to that. So I did 100 jumping jacks when I warmed up. Um, Not when I warmed up, but in my room I did 100 jumping jacks. I did like 25 burpees and now I do like 100 sit-ups every single night. So y'all, I went back after a month with um Dr. Peretta and I had lost eight pounds instead of the four i lost eight so she was really proud of me so then after that y'all once i seen that i really lost weight i was like hmm hello like i could really i could lose some weight so that's when i was like i put it in my mind like i really want to be slim so i don't know if y'all know who this is but kima russo that that woman right there okay body crazy so my goal was like Kima Russo. So y'all, when I put that in my head, so y'all, while I was sitting here rewatching the video, um, I realized I did not mention who really played a part in this. So let's backtrack. Eric Thomas, also known as ET, the motivational speaker. Y'all, when I tell y'all, if it wasn't for him, honestly. I probably wouldn't have lost weight. That, he really helped me. It was the, um, which video is it? When you want to see as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I kid y'all not. I listened to that video it, almost every time I worked out, honestly. Like, that's how I ran my mouth. That's how I really started off all my workouts. So, E.T., if y'all know who that is, definitely go look him up. Eric Thomas. He helped me through this whole entire journey, honestly. And, yeah, I meant to mention that in there. I really owe him, like, a lot. Like, I know I brought up Kim Russo and how I want to look like her and stuff. But Eric Tom Miss. And I still, to like, right before I started recording this video, I was listening to him. I still listen to him literally every day if not every day every other day just to like get up that's something that you really should do is listen to a um any motivational speaker it doesn't even have to be him anything that motivates you listen to that right when you get up that's when your mind moves the slowest um that's when like you create i guess it's like whatever you're gonna do within that day like that that's how you need to set your day that wake up and listen to something motivating it's gonna set your day right yeah, so Eric Thomas, he really helped me lose, what is it, like 55 pounds, so that's the man. Go listen to his stuff. Yeah. And I went to work, and I still worked out at my house um, for really about the rest of the year. My mama had brought a treadmill over, so we put that in the living room. I used to go in there and just walk. I ain't really run. I didn't. Mm -mm. I ain't really start running until I got into this gym. But I'm gonna tell y'all about that. So, where we at? All right. So now, the gym. I started going to the gym. I would say December. Y'all, if y'all see this lash, it's not there no more right now. But if y'all see this lash fall, I kept trying to put it up before I started this video. I think I pulled it off. I'm not sure, but yeah. Either way. Um, so the gym. The gym. My favorite place in the world, honestly. Besides Atlanta. So the gym. <laughs> what happened? Y'all, I started. I'm gonna insert the pictures one because I still got it on my phone when I started running my little mile to warm up. So literally every time I went to the gym, I ran a mile to warm up. And it was, I was so determined to get this mile time down, down. Ooh, that was so country. I was so determined. So, my lowest mile time to this day, never did it again in my life, is 7 minutes and, is it the 48 or 28 seconds? Y'all, never again. But, I was proud of myself, but never again, like, mm-mm. I don't know what, I don't know what was going on in my head that day but I ain't did it since then either way my highest mile was like 15 minutes and something but that's because that's when I was like walking it or whatever now I started running it when I realized I could run but because you know I was heavy so I was like I don't know if I can really run you know what I'm saying but 
Yeah, so I started going to the gym and y'all do not do this. Don't do this. Don't listen to me. If you younger and you still in school, don't do this. I legit, so this was my, my senior year. Going into my senior year, because I started going to the gym gym June, January. So, going into my senior year, um, the first, what's that called? The first and second quarter, I had, I think I had, like, the normal four classes. In six, you have, I mean, in high school, you, I think you have six. I'm not sure, I don't remember. Um, but, I know January, that third and fourth quarter, y'all, I had two classes. The first one was art. The second one was, um, team sports. So, that's basically like a PE. So, I, I'm not going to lie, I'm not an artist. It's not for me, my brother. He, that's the artist right there. Y'all want something drawn, drawn, drew, whatever. Y'all want something, talk to him. He don't even draw like that no more, but I'm pretty sure he can still draw. Either way, besides the point, I had art for my first, uh, what's that called? My first class, first period, whatever. And then my second class was team sports. So y'all, I'm not going to hold you. I went to art once a week two times a week like you can ask anybody that had art class with me they know like who i have art class with i don't know i'm gonna just pull back up but yeah anybody who had art class with me they know i was never there ever unless we had something do and then i would literally come in and do it that day y'all like i don't know i don't know how i did it. i don't know how i passed but it was nothing but god so i used to skip art and go straight to the gym my mama had my mama lived in this apartment and they had like a really nice gym so i literally was always there like they didn't have no i, ain't th I don't think we had a house phone number so the school couldn't call nobody so whatever i was always at the gym like sometimes my mama called me <sighs> i ain't really care because i was working out i was determined to like kim Russo, and don't do that y'all don't sit there and try to look like somebody everybody has a different body type so it's be get to where you want to be set a goal and reach your goal don't sit there and like oh i want to look like this person because then you might not ever look like them and, um so yeah so i used to get called i used to skip class and um go straight to the gym then i would go in for team sports because i like working out now so i was like all right i'm gonna skip art and i'm gonna go work out in my second uh class so that's so what i used to do i used to skip art y'all then i started getting into lifting weights now weight training is amazing i'm gonna i'm gonna tell y'all about that in like one of the tips so i love 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 weight training um that's what really well chilling kind of built my legs because i always had really um must sorry about that so um where was i at where was i at oh yeah going into team sports so then um basically yeah oh that's what it was lifting weights so, I will get into weight training near the end of the video. But basically, lifting weights really can shape your body. Everybody wants this hourglass shape, the hourglass shape, you know. And you can get there. You definitely can. But, I'm, baby, let me tell you, doing straight cardio is not getting you there. It's not. But, um, cardio is literally, like, you're not, how do I explain it to y'all, like, you're not shaping yourself. You're literally just burning fat and it's like you're just slimming down. Like it's no shape to it. When you weight train, you can build muscle in the places that you want to build muscle at. I mean, yeah. I'll get into it in the end of the video. So, um, basically that is how I really got into fitness was when I started going to my mom's gym. And I started weight training. Then I could actually see some shape. You know what I'm saying? So, um, what happened? So, yeah. That's basically the whole, like, journey. Because i kind of been this size since I, uh, since I graduated high school, really. I mean, I lost more weight 
even like in college people don't even know like some people that i went to school with they don't even know that the reason why i was always in the gym like everybody i always wore nike pros like i have on now i was always in the gym like when i was in college so but people just thought i was a little gym rat like no like I love the gym. I love the gym, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like, there was a reason why I was always in the gym. That's all I'm saying. So, yeah. So, honestly, that's really my journey. I'm glad I didn't cry this time because y'all got the ugliest crying face in the world. Um, I'm not going to hold you. Everybody didn't know me. Know that. But, yeah. So, let's get into the food state. Oh, y'all. This took me about. I've been the same size. No, that took me like it took me about six months to really get down to 130. Um, I was like 135 for. I had plateaued. Honestly, I was like 135 for a minute, and then I finally got down to 130. I really been the same size. It my weight kind of fluctuates with hormones and menstrual cycle and all that. So, yeah, you know, I'm a woman our hormones and stuff make your weight fluctuate and all that but um yeah i stay between 130 and 135 like currently i'm trying to get down to 125 so then i can build and then get back down anyways besides the point let me get into what foods i ate so i eat chicken fish shrimp salmon oh that's fish um vegetables y'all eat your veggies if you can't if you don't want to eat your veggies drink your veggies they got they got the little drinks you can pour the green in mix it up good stuff actually i don't know if it's good stuff because i never had it um but i do drink juices i go to a place called juice vibes and also clean juice um i'm pretty sure clean juices y'all got a clean juice in your house because clean juice is down there everywhere um juice vibes is not i know they have two Two stores, restaurants, whatever you want to call it. Two storefronts. And that's one in Clayton and the other one's in Cary. I know it's the only two, like, in the U.S. that I know of. Because they're, like, privately owned. But Clean Juice is a franchise. I'm pretty sure it's one by your house. Just Google it. Map it on Google Maps or whatever. And, um, go there. Get a juice. It's so good to juice. If you don't want to drink your veggies, um, yeah. I love juices. Yeah, so broccoli, sweet potatoes, peppers, onions. Um, now let's get into the tips. I got some tips for y'all. We got some new shit for y'all. Here we go now. Um, Shabuya. Okay. The tips. So number one. Tip number one. So losing weight is really in your mind let me say this if you do not put in your mind that you want to lose weight if it's not something that you really done instilled in your mind that you were you're about to lose weight you're not gonna do it period like you're not going to do it i'm not and that's just that it's literally in your mind really anything you do in this world in your life is in your mind period if you haven't put in your mind that that's what you want, and I'm talking about literally anything, I'm not even talking about weight loss, anything, everything, you're not going to get it. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop you on your tracks. Like, if that's not what you want to do, then you're not going to do it. Now, if you sit there and put in your mind that you want to lose weight, then nothing is going to get you distracted from losing weight. Like, nothing is going to knock you off your pathway to your end goal, period. So, yeah, number one is get your mind right. If this is really what you want to do, then put in your head that you're going to lose weight. And I promise you, you will get there by any means. don't matter how long it takes. Like, you're going to get there, period. So, that's my tip number one. Number two, um, I'm going to mark it off because I these aren't really in order, really. Number two is um, drink water. Stop drinking them little fruit when people say when people say juice and they're like a really like 
fitness type of person. They're not even talking about, they're not talking about, what's the juice called? Ocean spray. I think that's what it's called. And then you sit there and you get the little, the less sugar. No, that's still not it. It's still added sugar. When people say juice or something, they're talking about like a juicing type of juice. Like the celery, you might got apple in it. That one really good. It's like celery, apple, ginger, cilantro. Mm, so good. Um, that's what that's what people mean when they're saying like a juice, like a juice, not not an ocean spray juice. Like all that sugar is is really unhealthy. It's very unhealthy. Drink your water. That's literally all I drink. I really I'm not gonna hold y'all. If I ever really crave a soda, it's gonna be every six months maybe once like every six months or something not even that really i really don't drink soda but unless it's like mixed in with a little alcohol a little a little with a little coke gotta be stopped <laughs> i mean but yeah so drink your water water is gonna flush you out now if you don't drink a lot of water you will hold on to water weight and you're gonna be a little heavier i'm that's really because like your body is holding on the water weight but if you sit there and you keep drinking water i drink mm, i'm not gonna hold y'all i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i used to drink a gallon every day i really did now i drink about four balls a day and that's really not good i'm about to get back to my drinking a gallon every day but yeah um i drink about it don't matter what i drink you need to drink a gallon a day so um yeah so it'll flush your body out you keep water running through then your body won't hold on to water that's what happens if your body if you keep water running through it won't hold on to water so drink your water lose the water away it's gonna flush you out it's gonna help with um bile bowel movements however you say that word it's gonna make you poop there you go poop so if you have a problem with that you may not get enough fluid in enough water to be honest so drink your water see what that do for you and if not um it's a detox i'll insert a, a picture of it it's a de it's a detox that can help you with that um so yeah that was my tip number two was to drink your water now tip number three weight training Cardio is good. Now, if you're really, if you're heavier like I was, definitely do your cardio. I did at least, I did, I ran a mile, but that's, that was when I had lost already like 30 pounds. Um, I started out doing like, I'm not going to hold y'all, like two or three miles. But either way, I would say if you're definitely on the heavier side like I was, do at least 20 to 30 minutes of cardio. Um... I, oh, what am I trying to say? All right, let me get back to my, my tip, whatever. Weight training. So, weight training, you burn fat and muscle. I mean, you burn fat and you gain and you build muscle at the same time when you um, weight train. And it's so good because the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn at rest. So, like, if you see somebody who literally did not work out all day but they have like a lot of muscle could burn more calories than you if you did work out that day like it having muscle really it helps it really does help um so yeah and then it shapes your body on top of that and i mean once you once you start lifting weights i mean you are gonna love it honestly i'm not gonna hold you because it's like you meet a new goal you can meet a new goal every time you not every time you got to build it up but um a new squatting goal um number but a new a new number you can definitely hit it um it, it kind of makes lifting weights more fun i'm not gonna hold you so yes that's my um third tip fourth tip is to now this is going back to the mind. Literally, go to the gym when you don't feel like it. When you sit there and you don't feel like going to the gym, y'all, go. And I'm not saying when your body is telling you that you need a rest. That's not what I'm saying. If you need to rest, then rest. But if you're not going to the gym just because 
you don't feel like it that day or it's really nice out so you want to go with your friends if you know it's gonna be nice out then go in the morning that way you don't get mad when it's time to go to the gym but your friends hanging out you know what i'm saying like go to the gym if that's what if it's in your mind that you are trying to lose weight go to the gym and it's gone it's gone um it's discipline it's discipline that's literally what it is um just like nastasia panamorenko that's my sis um the dedicated determined and discipline that's her three d's like discipline if that's in your head that you are supposed to be at the gym and you're going to the gym and you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to gain weight it doesn't matter what it is maintain if, if you're just if you just like the gym you have to go period so um if your body is telling you that you need to rest and you are hurting, I'm not saying go to the gym then. Rest if that's what you need to do. But other than that, go to the gym. Period. So, that's number four. Ooh, I was about to say four. Y'all, my uh, my second grade teacher or first grade, whatever. Like I told y'all, I'm really country. So, I used to always say four. Like, they, had, they used to be like, what? Number four? And I'm like, Oh, that's what I'm saying. What is you saying? So, yeah, sometimes I do say foe, but I'm really trying not to. Anyways, now, tip number five. Don't be too restrictive. Now, when you're really, really restricting yourself from certain foods, you will binge eat. And I'm not going to lie, because I've done it before plenty of times, honestly. Because... I just got to a point now where I can go out with my friends and I'll have like some fries or something and it won't like mess me up in the head like oh my god you're gonna get humongous you know what I mean but don't be too restrictive now just because I said don't be too restrictive that don't mean go and have your workout every day and go eat a burger every day just because you worked out you cannot outwork a bad diet I don't care what nobody done told you you can't you can't outwork a bad diet. I don't care. So, that's what I'm saying. Don't be too restrictive. Now, when you have your cheat meal, meal, I'm not saying cheat day. When you have your cheat meal, have your cheat meal. Don't sit there and have a whole cheat day. That That's not what that's for. It's a cheat meal. It's going to give you whatever you was really craving. You got it. Boom. There go your cheat meal. Period. Don't sit there on Saturday and have a whole cheat day. Sunday, have your whole cheat day again. What are you doing? That could that really could have messed you up from that whole week if you all that training that whole week. Do I do it? I'm trying to do a little trash can like Kobe, but um yeah like could have really messed you up for that whole week. Like all that training you just did, just thrown in the trash, just like that, because you want to go have two whole cheat days. Like don't do that. Have your cheat meal and let the end all be all. That's it. Cheat meal and um. That's whatever you want it to be. A pizza, a burger, some barbecue. I wouldn't have pork. I would not have pork. But if you want to have pork, have your little pork, girl, because I'm with you. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, macaroni and cheese. Have your soul food. Stink poo. What? Okay. Have your soul food. That's just that. Um, it's your cheat meal. Period. Now. How many more tips I got? Now, uh, this is my last tip. If you have a sweet tooth, honey, I got a really bad sweet tooth, y'all. I don't know what's up with me, but like for the past three years, it's something about a cookie, a chocolate chip cookie that I just love. Like I got to have my chocolate chip cookie. If you want to know the best one, Panera cookies. the best i'm not gonna hold you now if y'all got a little cookie spot and you in north carolina rdu area drop it in the dms drop it down there give me a little cookie now let me stop because i did see this new cookie plus that's the size point y'all if you have a sweet tooth like me eat some fruit eat some fruit now mine mm, i hope it ain't all right since people watching this but i love watermelon <laughs> Y'all, I love watermelon, period. Like, this time right now, June, July, August, really, it's in July. If you a real watermelon eater, July, you know that. So, watermelon season is about here. It's here for some people, but it's about here for me. 
every all the watermelon gonna be all red mm, 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 y'all i can eat a whole watermelon by myself like period i just love watermelon watermelon is just so good so yeah um have you some fruit on deck if you have a really bad sweet tooth now i'm not saying eat all the fruit in the world because fruit still has natural sugars and you don't need too much sugar so um definitely have your fruit if you have a really bad sweet tooth um if i didn't go over anything that you feel like i should or you have any questions please um drop it in the comments or dm me on instagram what i'm gonna be doing every wednesday is doing a little like a workout with maya so <laughs> Um, I'm gonna do it's either gonna be like some motivational thing or like an actual workout. I know next Wednesday I'm gonna drop a dumbbell only workout, something that y'all could really do at home, even if you don't have dumbbells. Um, something because it's still quarantine, but um, yeah, stop by my hair page, honey, sweetie, ma'am, missus. Um, stop by my hair page and get you some hair um my website is down right now uh at this moment i mean in another month or so it won't be down it won't be down for another two weeks honestly but yeah it's down right now because i'm doing rebranding you can still order through the dms um i guess that is it make sure y'all like comment subscribe also comment below tell me what you want to see from me besides workouts i mean i'm definitely doing workouts but any other content yeah so yes like comment subscribe i really want to hear from y'all and make sure you share this video if you know somebody that is really trying to lose weight um really needs help and tips anything like that share this video with them if anything like share my social media i mean this is my social media too but share my actual instagram everything like that and tell them dm me i can really help i help my cousin lose about 30 something pounds i really want to get into personal training later on in life but that's besides the point later on this year not really in life but i will see y'all in the next video make sure you, make sure you stay tuned for this next video because i think i'm doing my college roommate horror story and y'all don't want to miss that anybody that knew me in college y'all know so don't y'all don't want to miss that make sure you like comment subscribe if i said that one more time i'm gonna go crazy but yes i'm so excited to hear from y'all and i'll see y'all in the next video bye Bye.